All right, welcome back to Sports Plus. Really excited to have R.J. Bell from pregame.com here. He's a regular with Colin Cowherd on ESPN Radio, but also does his own show here in Las Vegas. First preview on ESPN Radio. You can hear that uh, at 11 p.m. tonight, so just a few minutes from now. So we appreciate you stopping in here, uh, R.J. And it's an exciting time for everybody, obviously. But the line is out, Super Bowl 47. 49ers, they open at five-point favorites in the over-under 49, but there's been a lot of movement so far on this line, right? Yeah, the Super Bowl was the biggest bet event the entire year. In Nevada, almost $100 million. Worldwide, $10 billion is the estimate. A lot of action so far on the Ravens. Game open five, down to four right now. Total open 50, down to 49. Yeah, so what's right now, again, and, and that number, it may adjust a little bit as we go Absolutely. through. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it could move a lot. And remember, because it is the biggest bet game, you've got a lot of the public involved. A lot of the times, guys that don't bet the regular season, don't even bet the playoffs, they will bet the Super Bowl. So whatever the public perception is drives the Super Bowl line more than any other number. So what's the significance of these two teams? Again, you go back, Ravens and the Niners, maybe weren't the first teams that anybody would pick. I think I think the Niners may have been a good pick in the NFC. What are the significance of these two teams? Well, Baltimore is historic. They're the first team, and our database goes all the way back to 1978. First team to be an underdog over a touchdown in the division round and over a touchdown in the conference round and to win both games. So you can make the case this is the biggest upset leading up to a Super Bowl participant ever, or at least back to 1978. Now, when you look at San Francisco, I think on the betting side, we got to keep in mind Northern Nevada has a ton of San Francisco batters. So a place like William Hill that has a lot of action up there might have this San Fran line a little higher. A place like Cantor, it might be a little bit lower. So when you're shopping around, keep that in mind. That's interesting. And last check, William Hill had the line at four and a half. So that's staying steady, at least for right now. So uh, the Harbaugh Bowl, and everybody's going to be talking about this. Obviously, it's a great storyline for the next couple weeks. But you had had a number, uh, the odds of these two making it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, so before the season, San San Fran was 17 to 1 to win the Super Bowl. Baltimore 14 to 1. But if you look at what were the chances of both of these teams making it, 60 to 1. So this is a big story, but it was a real long shot. All right, and then really quickly, RJ, just for our viewers at home that maybe don't get too far into sports betting, if you want to bet the Ravens, when should you bet? Now, later, 49ers, same deal. What? My bet is, my sense is, this line's going to drift up. The 49ers have looked dominant. I think it's going to drift back up by game day. All right, RJ, appreciate it. Thanks, John. Quick and easy. We could sit with this guy for 15 minutes, but <laughs> RJ Bell, pregame.com. And again, first preview on ESPN Radio. Thanks, RJ. Thanks. And we'll have more sports balls after that.